Uh, next thing, uh, the Orioles and White Sox. I don't know if any of you guys have been following uh, yeah. all the uh, unrest in Baltimore, but we, the Orioles. Dan, and, we don't just right. watch <laughs> and read know. about sports. <laughs> I know, but this is related. We, so get this. Uh, this this broke while you guys were on the show. They will play in an empty ballpark tomorrow. The game oh. tomorrow is closed to the public. Hmm. Today's game at 7 p.m. also postponed, just like Monday's game was. Uh, there were 100 and, uh, some 200 arrests yesterday, 15 structure fires, a whole bunch of uh, other things related to the death at the hands of police of Freddie well, Gray. Um, and this series that they will play, uh, they were supposed to play against Tampa Bay on Friday, is now being at home, is now being moved to Tampa Bay. Baltimore will still be the home team. So I just can't imagine, I've, I haven't seen anything like this I, before, I just, where you play a game in front of an empty stadium. I, I chuckled while you said that, and I did, didn't mean it's a very serious subject, but transferring it to Tampa Bay means they'll play in front of in nobody. Front of an empty, <laughs> in front of an empty stadium. <laughs> so there's a reason for my laughter. <laughs> Tampa Bay that plays in front of nobody yeah, all the time. They draw flies. How does it feel to play in front of nobody? There was a major soccer game in Europe uh, a couple of years ago because of riots uh, by the fans uh, that they, play, they play, played the next game in that town. Forgive me, I don't have more information, but the, my story is true. They played in that town in front of an empty stadium. Can you recall any yeah, baseball I, or any American sport or something like this? Could you imagine the NFL doing something like this? Uh, they. It's tough. I mean, when, they're obviously when, not. Well, there have been now. games canceled for when, various when, reasons. Well, presidential we had that situation where you know like in that, Buffalo right? last year where they moved the Jets Buffalo game to Detroit. Was it? Right, and there have been the weather snow. situations. Katrina sure. caused the, not quite to this extent. I think they've been better off moving the game to who are they playing today? The White Sox. White Sox move to Chicago yeah. and, ha and and open the gates. That's what they did with Buffalo and the Jets is that if you had a ticket to the Detroit or you came from Buffalo or whatever it might be, they let you in for free. I, I, I don't know why they play in Baltimore well, because – do, are there, is there no concern for the player safety? I was just going to say because <laughs> they're, they're concerned for fan got police safety surrounding Camden Yards right well, now. Well, they're concerned for fan safety going to and from the game. Evidently, they're not all that concerned about the players going to and from the game. No, I <laughs> looks like a pretty I, fortified I, structure. I get what they're saying, and they can't keep canceling games because that puts a crimp in the schedule down the line. I get that. Um, I, I think you just. Unfortunately, it's a Baltimore issue. gets punished by this. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles get punished by this, by what's going on in the city. Uh, but if you have to move the game to get the game played, you move the game. I think it's that yeah, simple. But playing for an empty stadium. You can move it to D.C. if you fine. want it. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, it's only 45 minutes down the road. Mm -hmm. the, the National Stadium. I would see that would be yeah. a great idea because people could go that Right, way. then Baltimore That's fans can still go to the game. Yeah. I, I wonder when you're looking up to see if anybody suggests it because it's got a great idea there. It's Beltway, you're right, you're, you get on I-35 or 95 yeah. or something, you'd be yeah. right there in no time. I think that's, that is, that would have been the solution. I don't know why they did unless Washington's playing at home yeah. today. Uh, all these players in their lifetime have played in front of nobody. And in the minor leagues, there might be 500 people in the stands or something. So I don't think that's going to affect the game. I think it just kind of tarnishes it. And I hate that, uh, I hate that it happened this way. 